Hi guys, this is Brad with Backcountry Cardio here, and I'm super excited to have finally started this page for a couple of reasons. One, I love backcountry elk hunting, and two, I love distance running. Currently, I'm running about 85 miles a week, training for the 2021 Boston Marathon, and of course, elk season, which is just a couple of weeks away for me. Over the last five years, I've seen a big push for fitness programs to help the backcountry hunter get in better shape, and I think that's fantastic. However, if you have not been training at all, you've never done a lot of running, typically those programs have a lot of cardio in them. So I wanted to give you a few pointers here on shoes, which should be the first thing you look at if you're going to do a heavily focused program on cardio. The first thing you need to find out is what kind of stride you have, how your foot hits the ground. And what I mean by that is one of three things. You can be a neutral runner where you're pretty flat when you hit the ground. You can be a pronator, which means you come from the inside and kind of roll outwards, or you can supinate, which means your foot lands from the outside and kind of rolls in. Now, to find that out is pretty easy. One, you can go to a local running store that specializes in running, and they will film you running on a treadmill typically and tell you what you're doing, and then they can get you the right shoe. If you don't have access to a running store, go on runningwarehouse.com. There's a bunch of tutorial videos uh, that will show you uh, how to do that from your home without a video camera. Or third, you can just set up a video camera behind a treadmill at your local gym or anywhere and videotape yourself running and you will find out once you replay that in slow motion what you're doing. Which brings me to my next point, the shoes. Uh, once you have your stride figured out, every company builds shoes designed for that type of runner. So what happens is most people scour the internet, type in running shoes, and they will find something like this. This is a Nike Free. This is not a good shoe to run in. It says running on it. Typically people will look at that and go, oh, well, it's a running shoe. It says running shoe, but there is nothing to this shoe. It is very comfortable to walk around in, but I would not recommend running very far in this at all. This is a good way to get injured quickly. Another shoe you might come across is something like this. It's a Saucony running shoe, but it's called a racing flat. It's very lightweight, which isn't necessarily a good thing for a lot of training because the lighter the shoe, the less it has to protect you. Again, this type of shoe, not really good for starting a fitness program where you're gonna be running every day or multiple days a week. What you wanna look for is a shoe like this. This is a Hoka. It can be any brand though. Asics, Saucony, Nike, Hoka, a bunch of different companies make shoes specifically for your type of stride and how your foot hits the ground. Also, you can see how much cushion is here. Uh, this is almost an inch, inch and a half of foam underneath of you, plus the foam that's used in a specific running shoe bounces back much quicker every time your foot strikes the ground, which gives you that cushion not to get injured. I highly recommend going on runningwarehouse.com if you don't know where to start. I'm not affiliated with them at all, but they just have a great list of tools to help you understand what type of shoe you need and what type of shoe you're looking at. It will tell you exactly how many millimeters of foam they have. It will tell you the difference in height from the heel to the toe. It will tell you what type of training it's good for, whether it's good for a lot of miles, whether it's good for faster uh, road racing type of stuff, track workouts. It's just a great tool that you can use before beginning a fitness program and hopefully it helps you to pick the right shoes so you don't get injured. Uh, I hope this helped you understand a little bit more about shoes and what you should be looking for. Uh, and that way when you start this, you're not injured in a few weeks because somebody told you you should get this shoe, you tried it, they were a neutral runner, the shoe they had happened to work for them. You try that shoe, you pronate, and within three weeks you're injured. So that is what I wanted to bring to the table today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Later this week I'm going to do a video on my hydration system that I'm going to use on my five-day elk hunt here in a few weeks. So please give me a follow and uh, check back and you will see that video. I hope this helped. Uh, message me if you have any questions. Thank you.